In this video we cover the topic of greyhounds freezing on walks, Scout gets a taste for some chicken stock and the pups go on a walk near some bridges. Be sure to click like and subscribe for more Magnus and Scout videos. You may have heard that some greyhounds can have a reputation for being stubborn and doing things like stopping in walks and refusing to move any further. This behaviour is sometimes called freezing or statuing. A greyhound who does this is not being bad, they are more likely distracted, overwhelmed or scared rather than just being stubborn. Freezing is a common response when a greyhound is feeling overwhelmed or distracted. It can happen immediately or develop over time. This cycle of behaviour is broken by overriding the distraction slash cause for the concern with another distraction. If your greyhound is prone to freezing, when you take them out for a walk, choose someplace quiet. Use walks as an opportunity for the dog to sniff and explore and get comfortable with the new environment rather than worrying about distance of walk. Use the same one to two walking routes initially to build up from there. Going somewhere predictable and familiar helps your greyhound feel safe and less likely to freeze on walks. Here's some things you can do to help your greyhound with freezing. One is to walk your greyhound in tight circles. This can break the cycle by causing the distraction that is causing them to freeze. Another is to walk with a confident dog. If your greyhound gets nervous and walks, see if you can walk with another confident dog as this will help with their confidence. Magnus is a very confident dog so we used to use him to encourage Scout when she would get nervous on walks. Another thing you can do is to use treats to distract them and lure them away in the direction you want to walk. With treats, it's best to train getting your dog's attention in a home environment or in a garden in advance of going on walks. A good suggestion of a handy treat to take with you on walks if you have a dog that freezes on walks is a tube of cheese or pate. We used to take a tube out with Scout as she used to freeze a lot. The tube of patty is good as you can rub it in the inside of their mouth when they freeze as they may not take a treat from your hand if they're distracted slash overwhelmed. After they taste the treat they will focus their attention on you and look for more. You can then use this to lure them away in the direction you want to walk. Another thing you can do is to try and anticipate when they will freeze and head off the problem by shortening the leash and walking quicker until you're past the spot where they usually freeze. Another is to take a slightly different route. These are just a few of the things you can try with your greyhound to help reduce the amount of freezing on walks. It may not be a quick fix. It took Scout a few months to go on walks without freezing. It's not often it happens now, but when it does we know what to do to be able to resolve the problem and continue with the walk. Magnus was starting to molt again so it's time to get the shedding blade out and give Magnus a little bit of a tidy up. Again, the shedding blade you can get from Amazon, very great tool for getting all that loose hair out and Magnus loves getting the old shedding blade. Time to take that collar off and give your neck a little bit of a trim. And that's you all done for now, Magnus. Well done. Good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy, Magnus. Well done. Nice and tidy now.
So we cooked an organic chicken in the crock pot the other day there and we had lots of chicken stock, which Magnus and Scout absolutely love. So we're gonna give him a little taster. You want like a spoon, Magnus? Yep. That's it, don't miss any. Because it was lovely, we decided to give it al fresco and give the pups their chicken stock outside. Scout wasn't happy with one serving and wanted some more later in the day, didn't you, Scout? Alright, since you're a good girl, we'll give you some, okay? Yeah. Here you go. Bon appetit. So the other evening there, we took the pups down to South Queensferry for a little walk near the bridges. That's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you shortly for more Magnus and Scout videos.
be sure to click like and subscribe for more Magnus and Scout videos. If you're looking for more Magnus and Scout videos, why not check out these ones here?